Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today we're going to talk about moving our FISMO roles, our flexible single master operations roles from one domain controller over to another domain controller. Uh, you, would, you, you would do this if you were uh, you know, spinning up a new domain controller or um, you needed to move stuff around. Um, you don't do it very often. Um, once kind of a set it and forget it type of thing. Uh, but typically, if you're replacing, or excuse me, if you're replacing a domain controller um, and or your primary domain controller, um, you'd want to transfer your roles. Um, you don't want to lose the machine that these roles are on uh, because it can be very tricky to get them back. So, if you're replacing a domain controller, you want to follow these steps. Um, not every domain controller has these roles. It would only be it's typically one domain controller in your uh, domain um, that would hold these roles. So you have five roles. You have the schema master, the domain naming master, the infrastructure master, the RID master, and the PDC emulator. So let's get into our lab environment. And you want to be on your target domain controller. Uh, in this case, our lab DC01 here holds all of our uh, roles in, in this uh in this lab. So we want to be on the target DC, which is lab DC02. This is the domain controller that we'll be moving the roles to. Now that we're in our uh, domain controller, or DC02, our target domain controller, um, we are going to, before we transfer the roles, what I like to do is I like to check the replication first. Make sure before you poke anything um, that nothing is broken. So to do that, there's a couple of different commands. So we will open up a PowerShell admin command, and I do cd backslash because I like to run it out of C. Um, we'll clear it, and we are going to do rep admin, and we're going to do show repl. So this will show your replication, uh, your inbound neighbors, um, everything says successful. If you see any fail failures here, you want to troubleshoot that beforehand. And then we're going to do replication summary, which again will tell you if there's any failures um, and you want to troubleshoot any failures you have before you start. Uh, because if you change something while, you, you know, if you if, if something happens or it's, it's not replicate, you, you want to know if there's a problem before you start playing with these roles. Uh, it's very important. So at least take a look at those two commands. Make sure everything says successful. If you see any failures, figure out why and try and get that straightened out before you move your roles. Now that we've got that done, we can minimize out of this. Let's go to our control panel and go to administrative tools. And the first thing we're going to go to is Active Directory Users and Computers. And we are going to come over here and right click on our domain. And we're going to change the opera. We're going to click on Operations Masters. And this is where you change three of the five roles. So you have your RID, your PDC, and your infrastructure role. It's very easy to do this. All you have to do is click this change button. You have to be on the target domain controller. You can do it from the uh, source domain controller, uh, but you have to actually go into Active Directory, Users and Computers, and change the domain controller so you're still on, even if you're logged into your primary or your uh, your source domain controller, you still have to be connected to your target domain controller, if that makes sense. So one thing I forget, I forgot before we get started, I know all my FISMO roles are on our lab DC01, but if you're in a bigger environment or you just walk into a new environment and you want to see where your FISMO roles lie, what we can do is go back to our PowerShell window here and type in the command net dom query FISMO. And this, once you run this, this is going to tell you exactly which uh, which domain controller holds the specific roles. And this is also another command that you can use to help you once you've transferred the roles to make sure they've transferred completely. So let's go back into Active Directory Users and Computers and actually uh, launch the change or make the change this time. So we'll go into lab.lan operations masters. And, and you can see right now is lab dc01 and we're going to transfer for it to lab dc02 so we're going to click the change button it's going to prompt you are you sure we're going to say yes it's going to say it was successful we can click okay 
And now you can see that both the operations master and the transfer two are both lab DCO2. So let's go to the PDC tab, click change. Yes, successful. We're good there. Do the same thing for the infrastructure role. Yep, successful. Boom. Okay, so that leaves us with two left to go. Let's minimize this. And if we run this net DOM query again, we should see some changes. So you can see that the uh, roles have changed on a few of them. So PDC, RID Pool Manager, Infrastructure Master have been moved over to Lab DCO2, but the Schema Master and the Domain Naming Master are still on Lab DCO1. The next thing we need to do is we need to open up Active Directory Domains and Trusts. Double click that, and we'll right click up here on Domains and Trusts, make sure we're on Lab DCO2. And again, we're going to go to Operations Masters or Operation Master. Operations master. I can't, I can't talk today. It's a weird word for my vocabulary, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, and again, same thing here. We're going to click change. You can see that the current domain naming operations master is lab DC01, um, which we verified here in PowerShell. Um, and then we're going to change it to lab DC02. So we're going to head and, go ahead and click change. We're going to verify that. It's going to say it was successful. We can close. We'll minimize out of this for now. Let's arrow up and reissue that command. We should have just one left, the schema master. Yep, that is correct. The last role we have to move is the schema master. And this one's not complicated, but there's a little more to it than moving the other four roles. For this, what we need to do is we need to register the schema master uh, management DLL so that we can get into the Microsoft Management Console for the schema master. To do that, we're going to go to run. And we are going to type in reg svr32, and the DLL file is schmmgmt.dll, and then we're going to click OK. It's going to tell you it's registered it successfully. You can click OK. Now that we've registered the DLL file, we need to come back to our run command here and type in MMC for Microsoft Management Console. Hit the Enter key. We need to, you can see this is a blank console right now. So we need to come up to file and add and remove or add remove snap in and find your Active Directory schema snap in, which is the second one down here. Highlight it, click the add button, click OK. We need to change the Active Directory domain control. You want to be on your target controller just like with the other roles. So we'll click Lab DCO2, click OK. It's going to warn you. You can click OK. Now we need to transfer the role. So we come back here, you can see it's connected to lab DCO2. We're going to go to operations master. And you can see the current schema master is lab DCO1. And we're going to change it to lab DCO2. Let's go ahead and click change. It's going to ask you, are you sure? It says it's successful. We'll close this. And we will come back to our PowerShell window here. Let me clear it. And let's run our net DOM query FISMO roles. And all of them should be on lab DCO2, and they are. So if we arrow up again and take a look at our replication summary, looks good there. And let's take a look at our replication. Everything looks good there. Um, but it probably, it has not replicated yet fully. You can see uh, some of the times are prior to the change. So uh, Basically, at this point, if you are going to decommission your domain controller that you were moving the or your, your source domain controller that you were moving your FISMO roles off of, at this point, I would not shut it off yet. I would leave it turned on, let things replicate for a day or two before you shut it down, and just verify that replication is functioning properly uh, by looking at these commands, uh, make sure nobody's complaining of anything, look at your log files, keep an eye on things, a very close eye on things. Because uh, playing with Active Directory um, sometimes can get hairy, especially if you have a big environment. I don't typically see big environments because I walk into small, medium businesses, um, which might have a handful of domain controllers at best, typically a single domain. Um, so just be careful of what you're doing. Keep an eye on things. Keep an eye on your event logs. Uh, but now at this point, you have successfully moved your FISMO roles 
um, to from one domain controller to a ne to the next. You've verified replication is functioning, and you've verified all the rules have moved successfully. So hopefully you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a like, uh, you know, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you can see when I post the latest video. Uh, leave me a comment. I have over 15 years of experience in the IT uh, industry and various different. Um, uh, organizations. So if there's something you want to see, you want to know, let me know and we'll see if we can get a video out. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys.